Domes mean sports. Sound structural design, energy efficiency, low maintenance, and permanency make any monolithic dome sports facility a worthy legacy for any community or school. Monolithic dome gymnasiums, both large and small, have been built and continue to be built for schools and communities across the United States. The five dome school built for Emmett High School in Emmett, Idaho in 1987 was the first monolithic dome school ever built. Retired Vice Principal Tony Villanueva cites affordability, minimal ongoing maintenance and energy costs, the main reasons for choosing a monolithic dome for their new facility. In 1997, Payson Unified School District in Payson, Arizona, began constructing its monolithic dome multipurpose facility. District Superintendent Russ Kinzer is convinced that in total, Payson saved more than $2 million because they went with domes. Pattonsburg School District in Pattonsburg, Missouri, enjoys their centrally located monolithic dome gymnasium for sporting activities, assemblies, and other special events. Construction on Grand Meadow School District's five-dome school in Grand Meadow, Minnesota, continues. One dome will feature a full-size gymnasium with locker rooms, a large wrestling room, seating, and offices. The Donald J. Brecken Sports Event Center is used for intercollegiate basketball and volleyball. Once school administrators looked into all the features and cost-effectiveness of the monolithic dome, they felt it had no competitors. Vice President for Administration, Paul Rounds, said it all boiled down to the fact that by using the dome approach, Park University would get twice as much space for the same amount of money. They could get two domes, two playing services, plus all the features they wanted, for the price of one conventional gymnasium. Park University uses one of its domes as a competition gym that accommodates 1,000 spectators. They use the other dome as a practice gym. The upper level of the main gymnasium provides a walking track. The lights, scoreboard, and basketball goals are all secured to the dome shell. Further south in Italy, Texas, the school district needed a new multipurpose center. When we first started building this, building this nice facility here in Italy, we had several things in mind. We, we went to the community and uh, we needed a multi-purpose building to do a lot of nice assemblies such as band, a building to graduate from and give us adequate PE facilities. Because the Monolithic Dome Institute headquarters is in their town, they were all familiar with the domes, but really had to see a Monolithic Dome gymnasium for themselves. So they visited Oak Dome, a nearby multipurpose center. The DFW Church of Christ Jesus owns a beautiful 236-acre retreat near Berry, Texas, called Thousand Oaks. Initially, the church considered a pre-manufactured metal building for a new gymnasium, but the cost was beyond their reach. However, a comparable monolithic dome gymnasium was not. And they had another problem. Thousand Oaks only has single-phase electrical power. With single-phase electricity, the only way they could cool a metal building was with multiple units. That would dramatically increase initial building costs and ongoing energy costs. But a monolithic dome could be cooled using only four single-phase units. Once administrators realized that, it was pretty much a done deal. And because camp sessions often take place during tornado season, the dome's ability to withstand tornadoes and high winds became another attractive advantage. Their monolithic dome, dubbed Oak Dome, allowed them to stay within budget and still get all the amenities they really wanted. After visiting the monolithic dome at Thousand Oaks, the entire board was totally sold on the monolithic design and uh, there was no comparison in our minds. We felt that the extra square footage we would get was well worth the money, and so that's the direction we went from the very beginning. Their new monolithic dome gymnasium is used for basketball, volleyball, physical education, band concerts, theatrical performances, assemblies, and a variety of other activities. It includes an upper-level walking track, two levels of seating, concession stands, ticket booths, locker rooms, 
offices, and storage. Because it's a building that provides near-absolute protection, it has been designated as the community's disaster shelter. The focal point of the gym is its maple parquet floor laid in the famous Boston Gardens pattern. Because of savings realized in the construction process, Italy High could afford this beautiful floor and a 38% larger facility than originally planned. Superintendent Mike Clifton cites the monolithic dome's superior insulation, disaster resistance, and low maintenance as the deciding factors in their decision to build a monolithic dome gymnasium. Just a few miles away in Avalon, Texas, construction continues on another new multipurpose dome. The facility will feature a full-size basketball court, four locker rooms, front foyer, restrooms, concessions, and seating for 750. When completed, this will be a gorgeous facility with an eye-catching copper-colored roof. The Crenosphere the largest and newest member of the monolithic dome family can be built with diameters ranging from 300 to 1,000 feet. That's equivalent to covering four city blocks with a single dome. The primary difference between a crenosphere and a standard monolithic dome is the use of a steel cable net fastened over the airform. The cable net reduces the stress on the airform. In addition, after polyurethane foam is applied, a series of steel reinforced concrete ribs are sprayed in place. The ribs give the dome shell more depth, but not weight, and produce a super strong free span structure. The crenosphere is ideal for any sport football, soccer, baseball, hockey, and even golf. It's equally ideal for concerts, rodeos, or any large capacity event. The monolithic dome and the crenosphere provide superior insulation, low maintenance, reduced construction time, disaster survivability, and affordability. Every community, school district, or college should have a disaster shelter disguised as a monolithic dome sports facility. I have nothing but positive things to say, and, and I encourage any superintendent or any school board members or any administrator that wants to come look at this building to come look at it. Uh, I'm very pleased with it. This town's very pleased with it. So you're, you're welcome to come see this, but I definitely think this is the way to go.